Brian, Brian, stop the tape. Okay, Mike. Oh, wait. Rewind that scene, please. Rewind that scene. Rewind that scene. Rewind it. Rewind it. Rewind it. Rewind it. Rewind that scene. Rewind that scene. Rewind that scene. Rewind that scene. I'm Mike Rizzo. I'm Brian Buns. And this is the Rewind That Scene podcast. podcast. A monthly podcast where we go back in time to our favorite movies of the 80s, 90s, cult classics, yeah. and everything that we love, really. It's really a time to reflect and bond about human nature that was actually going on at the time yeah. inside cinema. <laughs> exactly. And uh, we tend to really like action movies, bad guys, horror. We love comedy, obviously. Yeah. But uh, this is a special one because this is our first ever episode in the home of where yeah. we watched... A lot All of these the movies, movies right yeah. behind this camera and that TV right yeah, there. Beautiful apartment, Bay Ridge, Sunset Park border here exactly. in Brooklyn. And we are glad you're watching and listening today. Uh, we have a very exciting film today in the spirit of this amazing historic bubble. One that we saw here that is filled with just a lot of milk and guns and Bjork. <laughs> yes, what is it, there Riz? is a Bjork scene. It's called <laughs> The Professional. Yeah! And we have Mike Badaluco. Yes, Mike. Who, uh, yeah, Mike, who plays uh, Natalie Portman's uh, dad. Who's a little abusive and a little kind of crazy. Yes. Kind of a crazy guy, yeah. kind of rough around the edges. There's something scumbag about him. It's yeah. like, I've seen this dad before. And then that's really why I reached out. I was like, this guy yeah. looks like the, the quintessential dad. I'm like, I want to see what a prequel to what this fucking dirtbag prince yeah, dad's total life dirt was bag like. Shit. I mean, so many good scenes with Gary Oldman. Yeah, uh, he gets cast. killed off. It's just so high energy. It's fucking nerve wracking on the edge of your seat when you're watching this movie. Yeah. Yeah, um, really. He, he slaps Natalie Portman. She's only like what thirteen. Yeah, poor baby, Pobrecito. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. She really is an amazing actress, and this is kind of one of her early. Yeah, films. one of her early, maybe first films or yeah. early films for sure. Pretty wild. And, yeah, it's uh, a vintage Portman, you know. And shot all in New York in, in some historic places. Yeah, for the Upper most East part. Side, and yeah. everything all around New York. Chelsea uh, Hotel. Yeah, yeah it's Chelsea. True. Yeah, I mean, this is like a beautiful movie, action packed. Uh, also using guns, right? Yeah. All real guns and just like this is explosions and stuff. Very interesting time for cinema as Mike shares and, you know. So, yeah. You know, let's bring them on. Okay. Listen, Michael, it's a pleasure to meet you. You know, we grew up a few blocks away from Severian. We're still in Bay Ridge. So, you know, learning that, oh. you you know, you went to school in Brooklyn. And, of course, your early work is, is phenomenal, of course. Yes. You know, I mean, talking about Raging Bull to... You know, Juice, uh, I mean, so many great films that really embody New York and you being yes. a native New Yorker just like us. Uh, you know, we grew up in the Bay Ridge Towers, not that far away. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you on. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, good. So uh, I'm just talking back home then. That's perfect. Yeah. So yeah. they'll understand how I sound. Exactly. Like <laughs> exactly. Everyone exactly. always knows that we're from New York whenever they meet us. Like, oh, yeah, right. your voice. <laughs> but um, we're just like dying to talk about your role as, um, you know, Matilda's dad in uh, The Professional, one of our favorite yeah, movies. Okay. You're such a great actor. Yeah. And so I feel, you know, you're able to transform, you know, into so many different characters. And, I, you know, I'd love to know how the, how you came about, you know, the, this 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 role and how did it land on, you know, uh, you know, getting casted as the dad. Yeah. OK. Matilda's dad. Well, first of all, this is what I look like. Uh, 30 years ago, oh, if you can see it. That's the look at that. that. Look at that. That was me. And uh, it was because of my lips. Yes, oh, I know. Look, you're in shock. Yeah. Brooklyn boy, wait a minute. Where are we going with this? Okay, <laughs> I love it. I love it. You got the Ta right lips. Yeah. Ta Todd Thaler was the casting agent. I went to uh, college with him. We went to undergraduate SUNY New Paltz. Mm -hmm. And nice. uh, when he graduated, he became a casting agent. So any movie he was casting, he always had me into audition because he knew I would do something, whatever, that would impress the director one way or another. So he, he uh, said he'd call me in. But he said, Mike, there's really not much for you there. It's all these big, strong, like, guys uh, with guns, but they're sort of, like, big and tall and, and strong. And then there's... There's uh, Danny Aiello's part, and uh, yeah. there's really not much mm -hmm. for you there. But I'll, you come in when these these uh, guys, CIA guys, come in or whatever, and you do whatever your thing for Luke. Okay, so it was in a uh, in a hotel. 
a high class hotel, uh, and we're all nice. like in a suite. And that. he's a Frenchman, this guy. Yeah. So I said, I'm going to be like an undercover guy. I didn't bathe for two weeks. I had shape. I was wearing like a, a metal knee brace. I had shorts on, and I was smoking and putting this. Putting the ashes on the rug, I didn't give a shit about yeah. nothing. Yeah. Right? So he's looking at me, you know, whatever. And then I hand him my resume picture, which I don't have here. And that was it. So three wow. days later, Todd says to me, Mike, Luke wants you. He wants you to be uh, the, the star, this girl, Natalie Portman. He wants you to be her uh, father. Yes. He said, because of your lips. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had been That's in the, the business best. for a while, That's but I'm thinking, okay, thing now we're going down this road. Let me see what it was. He goes, yeah. oh, no, no, no. He says, anything. your lips and Natalie's lips are the same. So you could be her father. Oh. And that's what Luke Besson said. My and God. that's why I got cast, because of my lips. <laughs> Yes. But, but uh, a- after that, you thought I was going somewhere else with that, but that's true. Ah. And after that, uh, it was it was quite quite a ride and quite an adventure. Uh, you know, Luc Besson, I had seen the, the you know a few of his films before. The Big Blue was one of them, and yeah. uh, you know to work with a French director, I was very excited. Totally. And uh, and uh, it turned out uh, quite exciting. We sh- shot in the Chelsea Hotel. The hallways yeah. uh, 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 were the Chelsea Hotel, and the apartment itself was on the uh, Upper East Side on, like, Park Avenue and uh, 96th Street. Oh, my God. And, uh, I love that. It, it was All quite a quite a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, uh, I don't remember how many days we did it, but everyone was really... Uh, exciting, and it was on edge, and, you know, we had those guns going, and... Um, First thing, when we shot at the Chelsea Hotel, you know, Natalie, I don't know how old she was. What, what was she, like oh, she 12 was or 13 super young. or something? Yeah, no. probably was 12, the first yeah. Time. So I'm her father, and I'm, I'm a little abusive, I guess, at yeah. that time. And, and he wanted me to, well, I smack her when she's smoking on the steps. <laughs> yeah. and he, I smack her, and, he, and he's got the camera there, and, you know, I, I go like this. And he goes, no, no, harder, harder. What do you mean harder? I said, I'm not hitting this girl harder. He goes, no, no, hit her. I said, no, 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 no. you got to put the sound in. I'll go like that. Yeah, post-production. Come on now. Where are you? Okay. So that was was it. But it was no problem. So now maybe he got back at me, and I'll tell you how he got back at me. So then we go to the place to shoot the the other sequence. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're in the apartment, and the first thing is – with uh, Ellen. Ellen is my wife. Uh, she, she was a wonderful actress. Yeah. And he has me doing this sex scene. You remember that sex oh, scene? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have like a, a and vest comes on, on you, and those yeah. And yeah. I have shorts. I said, you're going to work. now, And and he goes, go up behind there. And, and you know, and I'm getting, okay, fine. I said, and I'm going, I'm going, I'm going like this. And I'm just hitting the sink. You know, I'm not doing, I'm <laughs> yeah. going. He goes, now go harder, harder, faster, <laughs> faster. I go, okay. I'm going, I'm going faster, faster. He goes, Pull up her zipper, because she had a zipper on her skirt, like on the back of her skirt. And yeah. I pull up a zipper. I said, I don't know. Okay, so I pull up a zipper, and she goes, ah, ah. She screams because it got caught on her thigh. And she's oh, screaming, I'm pulling no. up the zipper, and it's ripping up. The, and he goes, faster, faster, faster. And I don't know what the, oh. so that, Holy so shit. That was, yeah, that was like, okay, very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, wow. and the, la- wow. the last, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. It's true. But I mean, I don't know what, yeah. and the yeah. last great uh, thing, well, not great, but uh, it was around the time that Brandon Lee, remember that there was a plug yes. and he got shot and it was yeah. just right after Correct. that. So we were um, extra careful with the guns and everything. Yeah, that's, yeah. And uh, we should have been. So this is how I think. He got back at me, Luke. I'm not saying this is true, but <laughs> but so you check the gun, you make sure there's nothing in it. You look, Gary looked, I looked, the prop guy looked, it was all good. So now, as you remember, I'm going down the hallway and he 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 shoots me. I'm on the ground, I'm bleeding, yeah. I'm, I'm going like this, and, and Peter Appel is with Gary, and he starts clicking off the gun. 
they, like they, there's nothing in it. He's clicking. Oh, yeah. It. You know, yeah, over you. You remember that? And he's clicking. He yeah. goes, he's like, he's, he's, dead. he's, he's dead. dead. He's dead. Already. He's dead. <laughs> right. Yeah. But when we did the scene, he goes like this. Click. And I'm, you know, playing dead. Click, click, click. Boom. And it goes off. No. Whoa. But I don't move because he didn't say cut. So I'm playing like I'm dead. And Gary goes, what the fuck? And he throws the gun up in the air, right? Oh. So how a blank got in there, I don't know. Oh, but no. But finally he said cut. <laughs> and, I got, wow. and I did nothing. The gun, thank God nothing, uh, I know. nothing That's bad so happened. That's scary. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But especially it, to and, you. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're so in that those position. The, That's insane. Those were the three uh, sort of... Uh, stories uh, about. Uh, I love that. Thank uh, you for sharing. The professional. Yeah, and what yeah, was yeah. like? And uh, w- what was like your kind of initial like that scene where like I mean the Gary Oldman scene when he like sniffs you for the first time and there's just so much like tension. Like what was it oh, like getting well, into the? I just happen to have that right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Are you I love serious? That scene. Yeah. There's That's so much so tension good. and the sweat on his face and your face. Oh, yeah. oh my I feel God. like I know this character. You yeah. Know? I, you yeah. Know, yeah. Thinking about well, what you know, is doing off hours. Yeah. yeah. When I. When I uh, act and do the roles, I, I really I take it very seriously, and I yeah, yeah. I, uh, I enjoy it, and and I, I get into the moment. I I don't fool around or nothing, and Gary wasn't fooling around, and I was <laughs> yeah. just in that moment of here I am standing there, and I know that uh, that this guy's serious, and <laughs> and then I'm just let these <laughs> listening to Beethoven, and he starts yeah, yeah, kissing yeah. me, and I'm just like. <laughs> He's like, what is he like? Oh, you're a Mozart guy, like whatever. Yeah. Something. <laughs> so, right. so many good lines. Yeah. yeah, no, it was great dialogue, and he he was great to work with. You know, he's uh. a serious actor, and you know, it was it was good. And, and Jean Reno, uh, even though I didn't do anything with him, uh, yeah, he, he was very pleasant. He was around, and I had seen him a couple times uh, afterwards uh, on the street in New York, and he always said hello. He was very nice, and uh, and. Um, it was it was full of tension because of those guns, you know, yeah. running around and and then the floor was filthy and they put this blood on you that's like a almost like a caro je- jealous like a syrup and mm. I was filthy and sawdust <laughs> and but you know hey what, that's what you do for your art I guess yeah yeah now I was gonna say like is there any kind of like other um, little kind of like fun moments that you remember that you recall like loving making this movie or like things for the fans who are diehard well fun i don't know how much fun we had i remember natalie was a sweet girl and 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 uh, you know whether she was with her parents yeah and she was just sweet and she would just talk about that she was going on to what she wanted to do go on to college you know and uh, and uh, that was very sweet and Right. And other than those stories I told you, let me see. Let me. Yeah, uh, well, the good thing was I I started dating uh, the woman I was eventually going to marry at that time, and she worked at Mount Sinai. So nice. uh, she would go to work and get off the train, and all our trailers were there. Trailers. I had a little honey wagon about as as wide as this, whatever you see. Yes, and uh, but she was very impressed. Oh, I I just met this guy and he's working on a movie on the corner there. So <laughs> yes. that that really impressed her. And Hell here yeah. I am with her uh, 27 years later. Uh, hey, so that that's was beautiful. Uh, that was that's great. But uh, other than that, uh, no, uh, we we just went into it, and yeah. you know, Luke would just uh, tell us what to do and. Whatever it is, like I said, we did it, except smack the girl real hard. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I love, well, you're and very authentic. You're very authentic, that's for sure. Um, yeah. and, con- and congrats on the Turtles movie, right? You're the voice of the, one of the, in the Turtles, the new Turtles oh, movie? Oh, yeah, Bad Bernie. That, well, yeah. this is because my voice, finally, they want a guy from Brooklyn, and they just called me up, and, and, and they said, uh, uh, would you want to do this thing? Uh, a woman that had heard my voice uh, Love it. Uh, so just great. oh, in John Turturro's movie, uh, uh, forget the purple, whatever it was called, the last one, I forget what it was. Anyway, and she said, "Oh, could you? Would you like to be? Uh, yeah." And I said, "Oh, sure. What is he? It's Bad Bernie. All right, Bad Bernie. Just talk <laughs> like that." I said, "Fine." So I did it, and it's in the movie. It's actually yeah. uh, there's a little scene in there. But then they call me back, and Nickelodeon is doing a series, uh, like a. A new series of the turtles, so Bad Bernie comes back in that. I was gonna say, man, you you're you're in so many great films, and a lot of them that uh, also have a great New York origin story. And, oh yeah, uh, even 
you know, uh, Summer of Sam is, you know, a big one that we well, love that's, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poster right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, right yeah there. You, that poster was great. You, yeah. you know, our parents grew up in, in the Bronx and, you know, near near Cortelia Road as well. And so, you know, when oh. that was happening, you know, uh, back in the day, it was terrifying, you know. And yeah. I think but to see it on film and you play that role, too, <laughs> it, it's 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 excellent, you know. So, yeah. I mean, you, you always bring it, whether if you're, you know, Matilda's father <laughs> or, you know, Brooklyn's, you know, most terrifying killer. <laughs> Well, yeah, so yeah like you. I say, I, I enjoy it. I had to go to a, a, a dark place for that one. I, I listened Ooh, yeah. to this slamming music. I forget. Well, I lived through that uh, the Son of Sam yeah. stuff. But um, yeah. I, I listened to music. Uh, I said to my wife, how am I going to get my head into like a... And there was like uh, the groups like Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. And I forget. Oh, yeah. I don't even know, but it was like. Good stuff. It was driving me crazy. It drove her crazy. <laughs> she was like, shut that off. And I had to put on the headphones. She goes, I can't listen to that. It's the mu- you call that music? It's like noise or something. <laughs> so I love it was Trent like. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, good. Love so it. good. So good. Well, thank you so much, it. Michael. You're, you're, you're amazing. And um, we have such big love for you and respect. So. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, yeah. Well, and, any any time you want to talk to me, but uh, if you do another film, uh, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to tell some stories. I got some good right. ones, but uh, I've I've enjoyed uh, every moment of it, and uh, like I say, it, it's uh, it's a blessing to be able to work in this business, and luckily uh, I've been able to, and uh, whatever yeah. comes along next, uh, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. Baraluco. Hey, yeah, Mike oh, Baraluco. Man, the guy love met the... his wife on the set <laughs> of this movie, man. That's pure love. The professional led to pure love this role. That's I true. love that. That's man. true. And you saw him by his trailer looking all hot and yeah. nice. Yeah, that yeah was, that's I'm going to go up. on a date with a guy who's yeah. in a movie around the corner. Exactly. <laughs> that's that. a way to pick up your honey bear. Yeah. yeah. So next time you see an actor on the street, why don't you go on a date with him? No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking around. But dude, how crazy is, I mean, he brought up Brandon Lee, one of our favorite guys. That's the first episode of this it's podcast. the first episode it's of the, the podcast, and he brought up the whole gun thing. I can't believe... How do they let a blank? Oh, or maybe the, he's right. Maybe like someone was fucking with him, right? Totally. I, I, yeah. I, I, or, or, you or, know, accidents maybe, happen. Yeah, that, maybe it was another. Somebody maybe got fired that day. I mean, probably that, lost know, their job. Either Michael it could have died or Gary Oldman would yeah. be in therapy for killing him. Yeah, I mean, and like, all these actors have to have the safety checks. So yeah. Can you imagine Gary Oldman? Like he's somebody he threw the gun. What the fuck is this? Like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's so and, and, crazy. And in those movies too, and one thing about the aesthetic about their pro- professional especially yeah. if you've never been to new york the hallway buildings are sick yeah it feels like a real so i can only imagine that fucking gun going yeah, off i in mean the, the chelsea hotel oh, and, like, oh. what? and him laying there just yeah, like yeah yeah i mean he probably thought he was dead in that moment you know I mean, holy shit and like also what beautiful lips this guy like yeah I, he does look like, like a love of i think i think he does look like him, yeah you know? I, I can see I, that I, that's I a good see, call I could see the family. Yeah, you want to have a resemblance when you're casting. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, so. There's so sure. many movies out there where you're like, wait, That's these really are the cool. parents. Uh, yeah. You, know, <laughs> yeah, you exactly. actually kind of get, you take, you're like, well, they can When they? the casting is, is way off, it's yeah, not Yeah, it good. needs to feel real, you know? Yeah. And I think that's a really good attention to detail on the director's front. And, yeah. uh, and also just like the fact that you know, this movie was shot around New York. One of the I most know. epic fucking death scenes, too, for his entire family and the four-year-old yeah. kid. God rest his soul. Oh, my God. The but four-year-old. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Actually, having kids, movie. when you see a four-year-old die on camera, that's not good. It's hard yeah. being a parent. I know. Yeah. But yeah, there's a great, this movie's great. She like, he totally like teaches her to become an assassin. Yeah, and, yeah. And I love that. I love that dynamic too. Yeah. Like, yeah, like the upbringing of her and like, you know, the, the revenge. Again, another revenge to... Yeah. You killed my brother. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and how talking. she teams up with the uh, the Italian guy who's actually French, right? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the main yeah. actor. Yeah, I love that. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen this movie, go give it a watch. It's another, it's another, you know, beautiful one of our favorites growing up. And um, check it out. You know, thank you guys for listening. Yeah, we appreciate it. Please you. stay and uh, share our podcast and um, check out our other work. We have a uh, web series. We do comedy. We yeah. love you. And um, we love doing this. And... Uh, Yeah, we appreciate you guys and we hope you stay well. Yeah.